Okay, so there it is. Uh, now, when you put this back on, you're gonna wanna be sure that that seat's in there really good and that the uh, nut is torqued appropriately. You'll have to look that spec up and all. Uh, the reason being is if there's any play at all, you wanna make sure that's the play that's within the wheel motor, not any play that where you don't, you would wanna see that shaft. Of course, you won't see that if you're running all of that. But on the face of it, put a mark or something, for every millimeter this outside drum turns, you wanna see that it's turning there too. You don't want it turning independently. And if you ever run a machine and you notice a little lurch which it's pouring in forward and reverse, stop and make sure your, your engagement is correct because where there's supposed to be a keyway that's about a quarter inch or whatever, that's what you'll end up with. There's a wallered out keyway on an otherwise good wheel motor that now you can't use. I've already removed the nut with an impact wrench that was here. Uh, and then of course, as you've probably seen, they rarely, if ever, come off. So this is how I've been doing it. Basically. You might at this point want to get you a big rubber band and uh, draw these jaws together so that you got more than one hand available. I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run my point in because it's quite a ways away. Now I'm going to use the hydraulic portion of it to run the point in further. I got to get it close so that the point kind of sits in there and holds uh, a little bit so I can lay two jaws on there and then use my hand, free hand, to bring up the lower jaw. On this puller, I wish that they had another setting uh, closer because I run nearly out of uh, stroke on it before I get engagement to the drum rim. And you, you don't want to get it on the backing plate, you want it on the, the rim. Okay, now I got it where it's kind of locked in there, but before I tap on it, I want to give this another pump or so to get some real tension there. Because if you don't have some real tension there and you tap the brake drum, the jaws can pop off because there's not a lot of lift. It might be something you want to wear safety goggles for. considerations are is that you have an expensive wheel motor here you don't want to use more force than necessary and you might want to think about it before you use heat and uh, if you don't know how to swing the hammer you might want to watch the, the uh, studs threading you don't want to booger them up
So you're worried about, you should be worried about your wheel motor. The outside seal probably, mostly. I can't say that I've ever pulled one and then had a seal failure or had the correlation. But then again, I never put heat to it. I hope that was all in frame. And then I'll pull that brake, brake backing drum and uh, there's a little square plate back there, so that'll all be gone. And then I'll put my new hub on. So, where I had that, and this, all of this, this. Now the new one is, uh, is more like that. And I'll put that on there, and uh, get rid of all this stuff that i don't use for my area because we don't really have heels and they come out of adjustment quite frequently so but don't ever modify your mower um that's how i take off the brake drum hopefully that'll work for you have a good day